I was going, no, 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 they wouldn't be that awful. And I was actually reassuring you that if you are currently together with a joint income of less than £38,700, if, for example, you're managing to raise a family with one of you staying at home to look after the children and one of you earning £38,500 a year, I reassured you yesterday that you would be fine. And I'm really sorry I was wrong. It, it has been confirmed subsequently, and I bring you this news, if you haven't heard it already, with a genuinely heavy heart. It is one of those mornings where I can't quite believe what has happened to my country. And once again, I find myself stunned that I am contemplating uh, catastrophe inflicted on, on my country, catastrophe and callousness inflicted on my country by people who claim to be patriotic. Never have the words of, of Dr. Johnson on that issue rung more true. The last refuge of a scoundrel, he called it, and I never understood what he meant as a kid. I always thought, what's he on about? Patriotism's a good thing. It's good to be patriotic. But people who trumpet their patriotism and use it as a camouflage for their ca ca catastrophic conduct and their callousness, they are scoundrels. They are scumbags to use a more modern phrase, and people claiming to be patriots, whether it's Nigel Farage with his, his grubby saloon bar xenophobia, or whether it's Boris Johnson with his self-serving narcissistic instant gratification, they are the people responsible for, for bringing our country close to its knees. And it's Rishi Sunak's turn this week to do something that I consider to be profoundly un-British to do something that I consider to be oddly, and, and I think that Alicia Keynes used this word last night with Andrew Marr, it's profoundly unconservative. And, and, and I speak when I say that of an ideology that recognises aspiration and that recognises the importance of family.